Hi guys and girls on YouTube, welcome to my channel. Right, in this video we're going to be taking a little look at the long forgotten about Decker 120 chassis. Um, now this comes from about 1981 and it's around the time that um, Decker were taken over by um, a Chinese company I think they were called Tatung. So if you take a look at this, it actually bears both names. Uh, at the bottom there it says Decker Colour and then at the top it says Tatung. Um, now this is an unusual little set. Um, it has four channels and but it's all push buttons selectable but it also has what they call a vary tune so you can sweep the whole of the channel by just sweep the whole of the band um, UHF 21 to is it 2168 2169 you can sweep the whole band by just turning the knob um, so yeah well let's stop the camera and uh, we'll have a quick look at the service manual and then we'll have a look in the back right so there we go that's the service manual Deca 120 series um, that's the old address and uh, if you look there it's dated uh, July 1981 Right, so before we start, let's take um, a little look inside, look at the chassis. Uh, that's the classic Deca 120 series chassis. Um, now, I've hoovered it all out, and I've had a good look, and I find this bad news. Um, this fusible resistor here has sprung open. Um, now, that only means one thing, that excessive current has been drawn in the line output stage. And also, I've had a good look round, and I find this 330k resistors open circuit. Now, now that's even more bad news. I'll just uh, I'll move to the circuit diagram, and I'll show you the problem. Right, so that's the fusible resistor there that's opened up. Um, now, as you can see, it's the HT feed to the line output transformer. Um, now, while it could be that the uh, line output transistor is shorted out. It's very uh, unlikely because I've seen these sets before. Um, what's more likely here is um, if we look at the, the input to the tripler, something inside the tripler shorted out, either one of the diodes or one of the capacitors. And that means that the EHT developed actually comes out the earthy end of the overwinding, um, which has developed across these two resistors. Um, goes to ground through that capacitor and it also provides a tap off there for the beam limit um, Now the fact that one of these is open circuit can only mean one thing and that's the tripler that's faulty um, So I've put a new resistor in but the bad news is I don't have any triplers like this anymore So we're gonna have to have a look and see what we can do well, that's the tripler in question. I believe it's a Mullard BG200-44. Um, just to be absolutely sure we're not making a mistake, I am going to do some other tests, but I would imagine almost certainly the tripler's faulty. Um, but I'll just show you one more other thing we need to do before we actually turn this set on. Right, moving over to the power supply. Um, this set uses um, an IC, a chopper control IC, TDA4600. Um, now, a very common fault with them was the two high-value resistors in the uh, collector current simulation for the IC. Um, now, they used to go open circuit very regularly. And what that does, it causes the chopper transistor to self-destruct and lots of other parts to go faulty. So, before we even turn this set on, we're going to change these two resistors. Um, now, don't just use ordinary, any old ordinary resistors. These need to be metal film rated at 350 volt for greater reliability. So what we're going to do is we're going to change them first. I've already put the um, 330K resistor in there. I'll solder the fusible link and then we'll disconnect the tripler and um, we'll see if the uh, line output stage powers up before we go any further. Right, so here we go, switch on at the mains, um, it's a twist on and off um, rotary control combined with a volume, here we go. Well that's a good, that's a good sign, we've got sound. Uh, let's just turn the set round, make sure the tube's lit up. Yeah, the tube's lit up, so you know the line output stage is running, so we'll just... Uh, 
make a quick check on the EHT and um, then we're in big trouble because I haven't got um, a replacement tripler just like that so let's just check the EHT first all right so there we go set still running insulated screwdriver yeah we can draw an arc from that so the EHT is running the line output stage is running so now we're in trouble because we need a new tripler and I just don't have one of them uh, but I'm thinking you know from memory um, 30 years ago I think the bigger set of this like the 20 20 inch or 22 I'm sure it didn't have a circuit board mounted tripler I'm sure there was a tripler mounted on here and I've got a funny feeling that's what them two holes are for so let's just go and take a look see if we can fit something different um, other than a BG244 just uh, give me a second while I stop the camera right guys so that's looking very promising um, them holes which I uh, suspected with a different tripler used to fit uh, exactly match up with um, the holes on a universal tripler so I don't really see any reason why we can't fit this and get rid of the board mounted one um, but as it happens that's the only one I've got left and I might need that for another set so I've got quite a few of these in stock still um, these green ones used to be fitted in uh, Grundig sets and there's a little focus control there, the top's dropped off it. So I might have a go at fitting that. And as you can see, the holes are an exact match. So I don't really see any reason why we can't fit that one. But uh, I'm going to stop the camera now and uh, I'll have a go at fitting that in and see what happens. Right guys, so I've just patched in that tripler there. Um, but we've run into a very small problem. Well, actually, it's quite a big problem. Um, we've got 25 kV of EHT. So I'll just show you measuring the EHT there. Switch the set on. So we've got 25 kV, but unfortunately, we don't have enough focus voltage. Um, so it's not possible um, to bring the picture into focus with the um, control there. So we're going to have to rethink the idea of uh, fitting a different tripler. Um, I think perhaps these little green ones are made for um, a softer focusing tube um, that don't need as much voltage. So all right, we'll keep going. Right, well there you go. That's that's the problem. Um, we've not got enough focus voltage. Uh, the picture's come up, but it's very very blurred, and I can't bring it into focus with the um, focus control in A1. So, um, right, okay, we'll just stop the camera while we rethink this problem out. Right, everybody, so um, after that little disaster, we're going to have to put plan B into operation. We're going to have to fit the universal tripler that I was keeping for another set. Uh, but never mind, I'll probably come across another one somewhere. So um, just before I fit the tripler, I'll just give you a little underneath view of the chassis standing up on its end and then we'll fit the universal tripler and see where we go right so that's the universal tripler into the set um, now i've only just patched it in with some odd bits of wire um, obviously you see because these are carrying these pins are carrying very high voltages um, we're going to have to swap the wire um, for eht wire but just as a, a quick test i've just patched it in with a couple of ordinary bits of wire um, now I've also noticed another slight problem that this is going to be a very tight fit getting that back into the case um, because as you can see um, now we've got the universal tripler in the bit that holds the back where the back fastens on it just catches on there so you're going to have to do a bit of careful bending so I can just squeeze that back into the cabinet but yeah, that's the universal tripler fitted. Let's switch on now and give that a go. Right, everybody, so that's the TV connected to a skybox. We'll just switch it out. No, the first thing we need to do, we need to select position number one, which operates the vary tune. 
So I'll press that, turn the telly on. Um, yeah, you'll notice how quick the uh, tube's warmed up. It's massively out of focus. Um, so let's just tune in the channel first. All right, and uh, just uh, let's change the channel. I'll tell you what, easiest way to set the focus rather than get the pattern generator down is just to put um, some text on Sky. Right, you can see the problem now. That, that bar on the camera is not coming from the tally. That's coming from the camera. So let's just focus it in. There we go. What about that? What a picture on that. Uh, that would put most new LCD tellies to shame. I just want to um, tweak the colour drives, the picture's a little tiny bit green. But look at that, what a picture. Right, so there we go everybody, that's a working um, Deca 120 chassis, perhaps a little bit more colour for my taste, look at that, absolutely perfect, alright guys, thanks for watching, and um, we'll get this boxed up now and I'll see you in the next video. There we go, the long forgotten about Deco 120 chassis. Alright guys, goodbye.